hey guys, how you doing? Uh, yesterday for me, the gameplay reveal trailer for Hogwarts Legacy was in the state of play of PlayStation, and they showed some amazing stuff. So kind of what I want to do right now is go through it again, uh, like the first 14, 15 minutes of it, and just like um, see what we see, um, give like an initial reaction, thoughts on what was shown. So expect like a lot of pausing and stuff. Uh, let's get into it. It's it's really really cool though. I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with it. It's got to be a lot of pausing, man. Avalanche. It's really cool though. Like they showed a lot of new stuff, which I'm really excited about. Let's go. Lumos. So I'm just wondering if this is like your arrival to Hogwarts. Somewhat, you know, seeing the school. What do you think you're doing here? A forbidden forest. Uh, definitely Hogsmeade. He's a dragon. Oh, that would look so cool, that. That looks so cool already. Right. First time I'm pausing. I'm sorry. Probably going to go like, I want to go quick, quick, quick. And don't make this like a 30 minute video or whatsoever. But looks really cool, man. Like the skill of Hogwarts itself is really awesome. It looks really big. Uh, like a lot a lot of space to run around uh explore stuff and i just like um yeah i'm not in front of it with my face like the the grounds over here really cool um there's probably herbology and stuff uh the quidditch pitch over here and then like the castle really big really huge and like um damn this is this is this is big man welcome to Hulk on the other side with the bridge over here I'm like a little, I've got a big head, man. It's in front of it a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, really cool. Legacy. You're a new student at the famed school of witchcraft. And awesome. Wizardry, with a unique ability to manipulate powerful ancient magic. Powerful world, ancient magic. Cover what's behind the return of this forgotten magic and who is seeking to harness the goblins. Story, wizard kind, as you may be the one that decides the fate of the entire iconic place right here awesome mm -hmm. but before you can study magic and begin to so so this is like probably uh, could be the scene i've seen it like probably and could be but uh, i think this is the scene where you just like come to Hogwarts for the first time and you, you like everybody's sitting down already and you get sorted and one thing that i like it seems uh, more spacious i think you get a shot from the movie as well it's a little bit more cramped in the movies because it's like a real life set and this is you know cg so um in game stuff so you can just space out a little bit more but um, one thing that i do like it's a really dumb thing but it's the table like where the professors are at it's like a, a half round table and in the movies it's like a fully right table um this just seems more uh, of like a center spot where like um, uh, the head masses and stuff would speak and the sorting ceremony would take place. Of these mysteries, you must create the witch or I like this. Want to be. So you see like a decent amount of options and I think like a lot is focused on, on like hair and a little bit of facial features and stuff, but not as much. But um, they also had a a blog post and they showed off more and um from what i from what it seems though it, it looks like you can pretty much go crazy on customization the witch or wizard you want to be i really like how it looks though like the the skin itself looks really nice and the hair and everything when you arrive at Hogwarts, you yeah. So what I was just saying, like the sorting ceremony, just taking place in inside of a half circle instead of like a long, like rectangular table. I don't know. It's. I think it's a better feeling though. You will be sorted into one of the four Hogwarts houses, Gryffindor. So you do get sorted. How we don't know yet. Or Slytherin. After you settle into your dormitory. I speculated about that in another video. If you want to look 
It's probably like in an eye card here. You will meet up with your housemates in the common room. The you common rooms. Oh, houses. wait, is that? Oh, that's Ravenclaw common room now. Oh, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool though. After you settle into your dormitory, you will meet up with your housemates. Slytherin looks fucking ominous. Gryffindor. So the first thing I thought when I saw it is it this just reminds me of like a hobbit hole. I really like it. It looks really cool, Hufflepuff. To do as you were starting Hogwarts late as a fifth year. So you are the it's just like a a slight movement from the armor in the back over here. Really fun. Over here already, like you see, um, you see spells and charms and stuff like that. Really cool. Um, don't know what is usable. Like we saw Lumos already, and uh, you see some other ones in the trailer, like the trailer, the the gameplay as well. Um, I'm just wondering if everything is learnable and usable. You see, like Lumos, Nox, and shit. Aloha Mora. You'll begin your studies attending charms, defense against the dark arts, herbology, and. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just like this. Is this is the first time I'm looking at it, um, like with more uh, thoughtful intention. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this? Hmm. Defense against the dark arts, herbology, and potions classes, to name a few. Ah, oh, hello. So this is herbology. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Shall we begin? Shall we begin? Welcome to year five of Jack. Ogre in the back, right? A crucial year in your education. So, Expecto Patronum is there as well. Immobilis. I shouldn't pronounce everything because I'm probably uh, going to butcher a lot of these names. But the art of charge, cool. But I am confident that we will take hold. With a passion and the charms professor of such a challenge the best way to practice is by dueling we'll start with you two with you two proper Hogwarts welcome so this looks really cool though already you may begin what I like about that is like you already see how f fluid it is how it doesn't really look that choppy, but the motion and everything seems correct, and it seems like it flows really well, and that's important with this, because like the battling is completely focused around magic and the use of the wand. So, um, making that like a really good-looking part is um, something that's really needed, and I think this already looks really good. We get to see more though. Bad for a beginner. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects. Potions. School. Here you'll meet your professors and learn to cast spells, grow magical plants, brew potions, and more. In between classes, you'll be able to explore the castle famous for its secret. So even more, more of the cat, like the, the 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 castle grounds and everything. Just look how huge this is already. I like it. Classes. That just like gives a skill for the entire castle as well. Like really, really big, and a lot of lot of uh, like students running around. You'll be able to explore the castle famous for its secrets, enchantments, and mysteries. You'll discover nice. dungeons and secret passageways. Accio confirmed. As well as challenging <laughs> puzzles that will require Accio again and a clever mind to solve. So like secret passageways in the schools and stuff to do in the school, just puzzles to like solve and everything just to get into some secret, I guess, like areas and stuff. Really cool. You may even find yourself in iconic This is like awesome. I, like, we never seen this. Locations you've never been able to explore before. The kitchen. Looks really cool. It's the late 1800s, so while the common rooms and classes may be familiar, most of your professors will not be. However, you may recognize a few faces. Nearly headless. <laughs> I think like it's really fun that like it, you get the familiar faces of the ghosts and everything. I really like that. You'll come to know this. I don't even think this is a clash you've seen in the movies, right? 
eclectic no it's just like book stuff and wizards in class and while completing side assignments that are part of a special <laughs> curriculum one's third time sakio fourth time fourth fourth god damn I, I, I kind of think this is like uh, sort of confirming Quidditch, right? You can fly around on the broom, but that's like Quidditch. Opportunities for adventure Look at this, though. In the area awesome. Hogwarts. The magical abilities you learn to master through your schoolwork will soon become tested as you unravel a dangerous like, What is that, though? Working alongside the accomplished... This is it, like this is probably still surrounding the school area, I think, right? And yet enigmatic what they said. The fig to try and discover if the rumors of a mounting goblin rebellion hold any weight and if the safety of Hogwarts. So like that's one part of the story, the goblin rebellion. This lies in the balance. I have that opinions ties in probably with like the the main story. Or is maybe the main story with a lot of tie-ins. I don't know. Looks fun though. Full of so much more than people realize. The wizarding world of this era is fraught with dangers. Creatures corrupted. It's a little bit more fighting. Powerful. That like that looked pretty pretty cool though. Like that's goblin magic right there. Corrupted by a magical Boom. force. Powerful goblins and sinister witches and wizards, all willing to fight, even kill. So that's like not everybody's using like magical combat, but at least some goblins are using uh, uh, some melee attacks as well. Their own goals. In fact, there's an uneasy alliance between the goblins and dark wizards. I do like wonder how the, the combat is gonna um, um, like fold out because um, you see like your character do a lot of different stuff. Um, is it going to be mapped to buttons? Are you going to, like, maybe use the um, shoulder buttons to switch through certain types of, like, magics you want to do, like attacking, defending stuff, and just, like, switch it on the fly and then defend quickly, attack, and then, I don't know. It looks really, like, the flow, again, looks really cool. Said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. You needed a child when it came to Hogsmeade. I just watched a student. So this is like one of the, how do you call it, antagonist? Distraction. Who is this child? Are you not telling me? But perhaps you shouldn't involve yourself with that just yet. <laughs> so, who are you and what's your special stuff? We know a little bit, but how that ties in? And what it actually means for the story as well. This just looks very, very awesome. This one as well, like, love it. <laughs> and just like focusing on this is really cool, but the background as well, like the, the little buildings over here, the roads leading somewhere you can explore as well. And this like structure going inside, probably like the mountain, pretty, pretty awesome. Including blasting curses, stunning spells, Enchanted. There is here like the the press R one to do something with this rock, probably fling it against an enemy or something. Weaponry and more. While some may attack directly, others might enchant and incapacitate you. It's pretty cool though. Mastery of the shield charm allows you to deflect ranged spells and direct weapon strike. I like that. Like that's. That, that, I'm just noticing that right now. Just the movement of your character, but also the enemies with like uh, the. I know if it's like the correct motions and movements and everything, gestures and stuff, but it looks really, um, really well designed. I guess I gotta say, but um, it just like it looks really good. It looks really. Um, uh, accurate. God, I couldn't couldn't find the word though. Counter attack with powerful stunning charms. Oh, that's cool. Allowing you to follow up with extended spell combinations. Incendio didn't even hit you. Spell casting will find many ways to exploit their enemy's weakness. Defender. 
Expelliarmus. That's a cool one, though. Like, you take the sword and, like, you freeze these two guys. You go to him. Like, you just uh, apparate over there. I think just, like, that's kind of how we see um, Grindelwald apparate, right? In the, the new trailer. And then just, like, the sword going up and, like, he uses it against the enemy itself. Like, really cool. Yeah, Rose with Incendio. Devastate your enemies using various finishes. You can even I like this one though. Like, magic your professors do not how well they're just like poof. You can poof. Even use the mysterious I love that. Magic your professors do not understand to obliterate your strongest foes. So there, there comes into play that you're like the special kid, and you can do that magic that um, even the professors cannot do. Looks pretty cool though. Mixing and matching dozens of spells will let you define your combat style. <laughs> On your path to become the ultimate duelist. Damn. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. <laughs> In addition to classes and spells, you'll have access to a deep set of upgrades, talents, and skills. To Wait, isn't that, isn't that like oh good? Like my memory is like so bad sometimes, but um, like the the creature from um, um, Fantastic Beast, right? Spells, you'll have access to a deep set of. So, uh, if it wants to go away, please up top. I want to see what we have. Upgrades. No. Nope. Why doesn't it want to go away, dude? Well, let's see if we can see it anyway. Character, inventory, talents, collections, challenges, map, owl post, quest, and settings. I like it. And then we get like uh upgrade trees for five talents. You're at level twelve right now. I wonder if these are the five that it stays with or um how that will like work out exactly talents and skills to aid your progression as the a core core skills nice stealth to earn experience. Hmm. sort of like okay we got this we see some new stuff we can explore as well nice choosing talents to upgrade your spells plants oh that's cool to increase their power decide which talents best fit your play style to, hmm. to focus on your favorite types of magic Loot. You can also loot them. Buy or craft your own magical gear. That will in so like crafting your own magic, uh, magical gear. I really like that aspect as well. So like it's already, we're eight minutes and forty seconds in, but it it's already so fleshed out right now. Like the combat system looks really nice and and flows really well and looks really sturdy and and um really uh, how do you say it? Looks really um diverse. And then, like, your talents, that's another aspect, just upgrade those things, and then um, going into gear, crafting, I like that. And defensive capabilities in combat. Gear can be upgraded and specialized to allow for greater ability. So we get some traits, upgrades, and appearance, which is really nice, though. For your chosen playstyle. Use a strong, even motion when cutting your inklings. Even potions, potions, herbology, nice, and beasts. Spells are not the only tools at your disposal in combat. <clears throat> As you hone your wand skills, you can continue to further your magical education at Hogwarts, progressing your development as a witch or wizard. Hmm. Brew potions that can increase your power when you need a boost. Grow and deploy magical plants to mob the battlefield and keep your enemies <laughs> at bay. That's so cool, though. You can even unleash deadly mandrake seedlings to incapacitate mandrakes. In beast class, you will learn about <laughs> a variety of magical beasts you might encounter. Nice. Cool, and as you explore the world surrounding the castle and its grounds. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. 
Learning and mastering broom flight is highly recommended so that you may travel around the world. So recommended, but I don't think like we, we see that's not the only way to travel around the world. If you want to do it faster, uh, we see the what's called the hippogriff as well. And might be some other beast you can ride on throughout the world. Quickly. I want you to do my herbology homework. You're despicable. Companions. Yes. To you by students who become your friends. As you develop relationships with these schoolmates, they can accompany you on your journey as your companions. And over time, you'll learn their stories. This is our chance. Mm. This, by the way, that's another. Uh, I haven't like I haven't looked for them specifically, but that's another one with uh, the green flame. Maybe like some sort of uh, uh, maybe save point or some sort of. Uh, Altar where you can like do stuff, I guess. I'm not sure though yet. This is our chance. Natsai Onai is a brave adventurer driven by the justice she seeks. Poppy Sweeting has a kind heart and loves magical beasts, <laughs> connecting with them more easily than with humans. Hufflepuff. Unafraid of detention or breaking the rules. Like, I'm, is this peace or is this like. I think there was even a poltergeist before uh, Peeves, right? Really fun to see him, though. The restricted section again. Is Sebastian Sallow, a charismatic Slytherin. With an over Sebastian Sallow. With a troubling family secret. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. You'll the better. You'll students and more as you explore common rooms, hallways between classes, and regular gathering areas. I love that, though. Welcome to the I think this is my favorite part of the entire gameplay reveal. The room of requirements. Just take this in a little bit. Take it in. Look how cool this looks. <laughs> she. One of the most remarkable secrets of Hogwarts is known as the room of requirement. It's like the simple things, plants and everything. T-shaped potion station. Customizable uh, potion. I don't know what the other ones are, though. So you can basically build what you need. This is this is like familiar, though. This is uh, from one of the stories of uh, Beetle the Bard. Really cool they incorporated it in the game. And it's brewing an invisibility potion. <laughs> Since you need to catch up to your peers, the room provides space for you to sow and harvest plants, brew potions, really cool. and upgrade your gear. So kind of like a, a little cheating room. They call it catching up, but a little cheating room to get like better stuff, or more stuff, more easily, I guess. Named Deke helps you discover the variants that allow you to nurture your own menagerie of magical beasts. So this is one thing I also like, that the house elf, really cool. Nice addition, uh, but the vivariums for your uh, magical beasts. Only one way to find out. You can freely customize this. This is just. Your personality and I like this, man. This is your version of Newt suitcase. Like, how cool is that? When you thought you was done. We go beyond the castle course. <laughs> There's even more to do. Everything you need on your journey. And like, just notice that you just casually f uh, fly by a dragon. Like, okay. Not everything you need on your journey is it's normal. You'll want to visit the nearby Hogsmeade Station and Hogsmeade. Where loads of shops and vendors can provide you with the supplies you require. Potion ingredients and recipes. So, Pippin's potions, nice. They can buy stuff. Winglewald potion. So, is it just potions or like probably uh, just maybe some uh, recipes and potions itself, and probably like some uh, ingredients for potions. You can sell stuff. Nice. The seeds for magical plants to all sorts of gear. Some of the customization is really fun, though. But Hogsmeade also has its dangerous side. 
And there he is again. Witches and wizards, emboldened by the turmoil of the times, wander the village outskirts. You must them or defeat them. As you explore, you'll find the world surrounding Hogwarts is alive with activity, wonders, and areas of unusual interest. I like this. As the year progresses, dynamic seasons and climates will fill the sky with. That just makes the the world feel more realistic. And uh, I know it's all magical, but yeah, I just love this. Lightning or sunshine, or coat the ground with snow or rain. Unique wizarding hamlets. I do wonder if that's like um, uh, fixed throughout your story progression, or it just like goes by naturally. Which I think it's the first one because um, you might have four winters done before you finish the year, and that's like not that, not not like a real thing, right? Pepper Even in a magical world, that's not a thing. Each with vendors and residents who have stories to tell, and missions with which they could use your assistance. Be on the lookout for enchanting magical puzzles that may very well have been designed by Merlin himself when he was a student at Hogwarts. Magical beasts roam the lands out. That seems like it's uh he's about to say it as well though. Some have been but some uh, corrupted stuff. Magic, while others are at risk of poachers and their traps. If you're feeling benevolent, you can rescue them and restore nice. their health in the room of requirement. So just capture these magical bees if they need it, restore them, and uh, maybe keep them there, or maybe just bring them back to their natural habitat. But there are dangers beyond your understanding in the world. That's under Gringotts, right? Your understanding Think so. In the world as well, dungeons and vaults hold perilous threats and also untold rewards. Be careful where you choose to explore, as it may lead you down a darker path. Avada Kedavra, let's go. Master spells. Befriend new allies. Journey across a landscape never seen before. Uncover ancient secrets. Combat mystical yes. threats. Learn long forgotten mysteries. Become the witch or wizard you want to be. As you leave your unique mark on the wizarding world. Yes, please. Here. Hogwarts Legacy. All I gotta say, if, if like this does not excite you, what will? <laughs> this looks so awesome. This is, I, I'm like, I don't know, man. It like, it looks like it's a really fleshed out world there's a lot to do you know the story is still a mystery which is good but uh, just only hogwarts looks really big and i think you take hours to explore hogwarts like fully like probably takes a long time to just go through every puzzle find everything uh talk to all the people um you know, doesn't really matter which house you're sorted in because you can go to the other common rooms as well uh, to meet people and do their side quest, help them, probably make sure to befriend them and, and, and let them help you out in your quest as well, which I think is a really cool back and forth. Uh, help them on the side quest, befriend them, and they probably help you, which is really cool. Uh, then just like the, the customization of everything, uh, like the room of requirements, really cool and that's all still hogwarts and then you go outside uh, to another familiar place like hogsmeade which looks really really awesome with the fenders the shops and everything um i wonder if like um if it's still probably though but still like the old the gaming meta where you cannot enter every house which is I understand still I'll, I would like to just enter a random house and talk to random people that are just chilling inside of their house but I don't know it looks really cool and then you still have the entire world around uh, Hogsworth and then around Hogsmeade uh, with people adventures and everything there and I think this is just uh, might I say it for me eh, this is the, the big contender for game of the year 2022 already uh like a holiday 2022 release so uh, i was wrong 
about the release date, <laughs> which is okay. Like, I don't care. I'm happy it still comes out this year. I just, like, this is, this looks awesome. I think this is a, what I've been waiting for. And the, the, like, the trailer that they showed during uh, the other PlayStation event uh, got me hyped. Looks really, really cool. And I, I like, I wasn't uh, like waiting to be disappointed, I guess, by this, but this just, I don't know what kind of expectations I had, to be honest, but this, what I had, this just blew that away. It looks really cool. And I think, um, like, there's so much to do in this game. One thing, um, I'm probably going to make like a few more videos about this because I, I just want to go like a little bit deeper into some other stuff. But one thing that I already like Chandler Wood said that this, you know, this is the community manager for the game. Um, he specifically said on Twitter that this game will have no microtransactions and seems like a weird thing to say. But um, one of my favorite franchises is still Assassin's Creed. I love it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um like microtransactions just like sneaked into that game as well uh i don't use it but still if it's in there it's kind of like uh it gives an like an iffy feeling and i'm happy that it won't be in this game um and i'm just like already wondering how many hours i'm gonna sink into it because it looks amazing I'll probably like make some more videos about like uh, this uh, like gameplay reveal because I kind of want to see like what are all the confirmed charms and spells so far um, and some other stuff I was thinking about. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see those videos. They're coming up pretty soon. I'm not feeling that well at the moment, which is shitty because I wanna I just want to dive into this, but I'm gonna make them as soon as I can. I want to thank you for your time. Have a good day and see you hopefully in the next video. Bye-bye.